Hey, Speed Demons, let's look at printing your PowerPoint notes only using a clever little trick here with Microsoft Word to get you out of the office and get you to happy hour. So I'm not talking about this thumbnail with notes down below view. What I'm talking about is getting your notes, only your notes with your PowerPoint slide titles so that you actually have some context for what these notes are using a clever trick between the create handouts command, which not a lot of people know about, the outline view to get your slide titles, and then a little bit of hack trickery here in Microsoft Word and PowerPoint. So if you're just looking for the standard, you know, PowerPoint handouts and notes, which you can do entirely here in PowerPoint, including you can format these content placeholders, you can check out my other video for some hacks, tips, and tricks for how to do that. Here though, we're really going for the gusto. And part of that gusto is how do you pull your slide titles into Microsoft Word so that you can then get all of these notes just like this. So let's check it out. So here in PowerPoint, just to prove that I have some notes to print, Control Shift H, you obviously need notes to print if you wanna pull this trick off. Control Shift H will open or close your notes pane, which is a handy little shortcut for you. Now to get this trick to work, we don't want to come to the View tab, come to the Notes Master, and you don't wanna delete this thumbnail. It seems like a good idea, but it never really works out. So you don't wanna do that. Instead, what you wanna do, you don't even need your notes pane open, I'll just close it. You wanna come to the File menu here in the ribbon. You wanna come to Export, and you wanna to come to Create Handouts and select Create Handouts like this. Now, the first trick is just to get your notes next to your slides, all right? There's some other stuff beyond this, but first, click Notes next to Slide, which is gonna push all of your PowerPoint slides into Word, and it might take it a second or two. And once it's done, notice that that content placeholder formatting did come over. So if you do want to use your content placeholders on just like you would do on your slide master, make sure you check out some of my other videos, and I'll put links for them at the top. Now, this here in Word, um, is not exactly what we want. We still have the thumbnail. We'll get rid of that in a second. But what I first want to show you, I'm going to select this table. You can also always come up to the layout select table. Sometimes the tables in Word are really hard to select. I'm just going to quickly put these borders all around so that you can see what I have to work with. So we right now have our slide number. We have the thumbnail, which we don't want, and we have our notes, which we do want. So first off, just to get rid of the thumbnail, I'm gonna delete the first thumbnail so that I can hover over the top of this table column to select the entire table column, and I'm gonna hit backspace to remove it. So right off the bat, if this is all you wanted, you could right now resize your table. You would have a slide number. I'm gonna show you how to do this even better, and you would have your notes, which you'd want, and you could format this any way you want Word. Now, because to me, a slide number one, slide number two is not enough context to review these notes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Alt-Tab, back to Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm gonna come down to slide number six to give you a couple other keyboard shortcuts that you can add to your repertoire. So Control Shift Tab um, is the same as coming to the View tab with your mouse and coming over to the Outline View. So Control Shift Tab, oh, I have actually had a typo in there. So it's Control Shift Tab, not Alt Shift Tab. That was just to keep you on your toes. So Control Shift Tab is gonna open and close your Outline View. And the reason this Alt Shift 1 and Alt Shift 9 is here, this is what's going to allow you, so this is my title, and this is my subtitle. And if I had a content placeholder with information, it would show up below. But because I only want my slide titles, I'm gonna hit Alt Shift one on my keyboard to collapse all that information down to just my slide titles. So Control Shift nine will pop them open. Control Shift one will collapse them. If you use a lot of outline view, that's a pretty handy shortcut to have. I'm gonna select all my slide titles, Control C on my keyboard to copy. I'm gonna Alt Tab back to Word, and I'm again gonna hover over the top of this column until I select the entire column and Control V to paste. Now it's immediately gonna put my slide titles in, but what I recommend doing here, and this will show up and be advantageous to you in a minute, is first off, set your title however you want. I'm gonna use Kessel 205 size 18, which is just a custom font we bought online. Now right here, I recommend coming in right-clicking the heading ones and updating that heading one to whatever um, formatting you want. This will pay off dividends in just a second. So now I have my real slide title, I have my real notes, but now I want them stacked one on top of each other, which to do that, you simply come up to the Table Tools Layout tab, select Convert to Text, select Convert to Text, will break down your table with any kind of spacing you want. I'm gonna do with paragraph marks, click OK, which immediately flips it into this layout view, which you can then click here on the left to collapse and uncollapse your table. So this is actually how Microsoft Word wants you to format your documents. And if you don't like um, the text that came over with your content placeholder, you can just click normal. You can then select this and hit no spacing to collapse that. So this is how you should properly be formatting your, your documents in Word. This is also, if I come to the view tab, 
all right, what the outline view will look like, where you can, again, play around with the outline of your presentation. And the other thing you can do here um, before you distribute this, if you come up to the Home tab or the Insert tab and come over to the Header Footers, all right, this is where you could put the headers on your document. You could add your logo, all that stuff to customize your notes before you distribute them. So that's how to print your PowerPoint notes only by using a clever little trick that not a lot of people know about, pushing PowerPoint to Word and then using some shortcuts, hacks, and tricks to not only bring in your PowerPoint slide titles, but also properly set up your Word document with your headings and then have your notes down below them. And if you learned a new tip or a trick, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. That's really the only way I know what kind of content to make for you guys. To keep up to date on my PowerPoint hack trickery, so PowerPoint hacks, tips and tricks to help get you to happy hour, make sure you subscribe here on my channel. Or if you're just looking for PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, including PDF cheat sheets of shortcuts or a mini video series to help you save 40 hours in PowerPoint, just look for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.